We continue our series looking at the gradings by Jim Bowden of The Athletic and the trading deadline season for each team across Major League Baseball. That division that we're going to look at today is actually the worst in overall gradings and it's the American League Central. Let's get into it. What's going on baseball fans? Jeremy Latacuente here for the Baseball Banter Broadcast. And as we look at the American League Central Division and the gradings that Jim Bowden would give them, we begin at the very top of the division, and that's with the Minnesota Twins. Bowden would give the Twins a B-plus grading overall, and I have to agree with those gradings. I think that when you look at what the Twins were able to accomplish this trading season, they did the best in this division. But I also think that there was still more to be done for this team as they try to make it to the postseason. I think they will be the third division winner because I don't think that there's anybody that is truly going to overtake them with the moves that were made in this division. So when you look at what the Twins were capable of doing, this to me is about an accurate grading. The Twins are solid enough to team but in this division they look even more of a powerhouse threat but when you look and compare them to the rest of the teams who I would consider more elite in the American League they are going to struggle and that's why while I like the moves that they made being able to acquire more could have been a little bit better for this team I think that there's still some room for improvement but we'll have to wait and see how everything plays out as we know when they get to the postseason anything can happen as we look at the next team in the division it is that of the Kansas City Royals with an overall grading of a C. And I think that when you look at what Kansas City was able to do, they were restocking for the future. Their future isn't that far away in my opinion as Bobby Wood Jr. is going to be a superstar. And I think that when you look at what the moves that they were able to accomplish will do for them in the near future, this is a good set of moves for Kansas City. But overall, when you're depleting your Major League roster, there's going to be room for improvement and a C overall grading is absolutely where they fall in my mind as well. I think that Kansas City is going to be a team that that is going to contend within the next three to five seasons but as far as the 2022 campaign they made the most of what little assets they had to trade away as we look at the third team in the division it is the detroit tigers with an overall grading of d Detroit really didn't do enough. They didn't retool for the future, and they also didn't add to this team currently. Yes, in 2022, they are not going to be a contending team. There's very little question about that, very little doubt about that. But I did not believe that the Tigers were so far away from contention in 2023 and 24 that they couldn't have kept some of their pieces. Being a team that traded away some valuable assets like a Michael Fulmer is going to be a move that hurts Detroit in the future. I think that there's an opportunity for the Tigers to maybe add a little bit this offseason and actually get into contention this division. I think this is the weakest division in Major League Baseball right now and being able to have a team that is at the precipice in my opinion of being able to contend is going to be something that is now hurting the Tigers and pushing them back further. While I don't necessarily know if they would have been able to compete for a serious playoff spot in 2023 or 2024 to me by making some of the moves that they did it pushes that timeline even further back in my mind now as we look at the fourth and fifth team together it is the chicago white Sox and the cleveland guardians both with an overall grading of an f and there's no doubt about it this is absolutely the highest ranking they could have gotten neither team really did anything to help themselves they would actually make trades to actually hurt themselves in my opinion while the white Sox did a little bit better by acquiring a guy like jake deekman in the trade with boston for reese mcguire this still isn't going to be a significant enough move to overtake the twins in that division and when you look at what the white Sox are going to be yes they've been besieged by injuries but getting these players back is not going to give them a significant enough time in my opinion to be able to catch the rest of this division so while the white Sox may have stood past in terms of their long-term future for 2023 and beyond and being able to get back to being healthy can help them get back to contending this was absolutely a disappointing trade season for this team when we look at the cleveland guardians this is a team that absolutely hurt themselves sandy leon is one of the better defensive catchers and has been a stalwart in that lineup in terms of his presence in the clubhouse as a leader for the guardians trading him away is now going to hurt that aspect and the guardians were not so far out of the divisional race that they could not make a stand and be able to push towards that top of the again aforementioned very weak american league central division but by weakening themselves in the clubhouse the personality of this team now takes a hit for me the guardians are not going to be able to sustain a long-term run but when you look at what this team is, this is going to be a team that is going to find it very difficult to compete in 2022 and probably beyond. But I want to hear from you guys. Let me know your thoughts, your feelings on this down in the comment section below. 
what are your gradings for the American League Central Division? Who came out the winner of the trading season? Let me know your thoughts, your feelings on this down in the comment section below. Or find me over on Twitter, jlada2019, to keep the conversation rolling. As always, keep it locked in to the entire JLMG family with WeSibs, the Granny Gate Show, and of course here on the Baseball Banter Broadcast. For sticking around to this point, head over to BaseballBanterBroadcast.com. Use the promo code BANTER to save 5% off your order. Keep it locked in all season as we continue to look at the gradings by Jim Bowden of The Athletic for the trading season seasons of every team across Major League Baseball, as well as the latest news, notes, and my personal thoughts, theories, and opinions on the game of Major League Baseball. Peace.